snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard. I'm locked inside tonight, but my heart is somewhere else. I'm thinking of you, babe, and all your crazy ways. I miss you more right now. It must be this hard day. You know you're my everything, the only Hai Kibret, sekarang saya bersama dengan Bang Simon juga ada I Kang Yaman ya ini interpreter waktu Supriyadi datang ke sini. Di sini di mana di sini adalah Tranmere Rovers kandangnya yang tentunya kita sudah diterima dengan baik ada Dan juga ada Matt yang uh, tinggi ya. Kalau kita lihat di sini ya, gue sih dia tinggi banget tapi yang jelas mereka berdua baik banget dan kita diizinkan buat keliling ke tempat ini. Ini adalah tempat changing room atau tempat ganti pakaian sebelum main juga ada untuk taktik dan lain sebagainya, pokoknya kita akan lihat ada apa aja di sini dan kita akan tanya-tanya mereka berdua. You understand what I'm talking about? Dan uh, nanti kalau kita akan cerita-cerita lebih baik lagi karena di sebelah saya ini ini pelatihnya si Supriyadi ya. Nanti kita akan lihat bagaimana apa pendapat dia, apa evaluasinya dan bagaimana dia bermain bola. Enggak <laughs> deh. Ya kita mau jalan-jalan dulu. Alright. Just smile, yeah, smile. I'm always smiling. Make me laugh. Just to inform you that both of them are the coach uh, in the academy, right? Yes. Uh, you are in a higher responsibility than much, right? Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe on the on the technical coaching yes. side of it, but we we work very much together day in day out. So. We don't look at each other like we're on different levels. Yeah. When it's football and we're training, then of course, like that's my, that's what I've always done. I've always been a football, mm -hmm. um, coming through at Liverpool and then yeah. coaching at Everton as well, learning all those things. Yeah, being yeah. a youth coach for a, a long time now, um, so I, I really enjoy being out on the pitch, which is why I loved so much having the guys over, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, and that's very much part of the team that, mm -hmm. that lets that happen. Okay. So you just spoke with the. Uh, kids from Surabaya in, in this place? Yeah, sure. We went through some tactical information with them on the board uh -huh. um, and we just gave them some scenarios. They uh, understand or they just like... <laughs> no, <laughs> they were, their knowledge was, was very nice. good. We were impressed, but uh, a lot of it came from Yusuf, the coach. Yes. He, if there was anything that uh, they that we do differently here than what they might have seen before. Mm -hmm. They were very forward in, in asking and improving their knowledge and, and also giving us knowledge on how they understand the game, which was brilliant. Jadi katanya tuh waktu di sini teman-teman dari Surabaya yang datang ke sini sama Coach Yusuf itu ternyata pengetahuannya juga udah, udah oke okay banget dan akhirnya mereka gampang nerimanya dan kemudian saling memberikan ilmu satu dengan yang lain dan pengen belajar itu yang paling penting. Jadi waktu itu di sini nih pertemuannya nih. Ya, dan ada di sini, Matt, you, you, you were here as well? Ya. Dan pemain-pemain itu ada di sana gitu. Supriyadi juga Supriyadi ada. Supriyadi, ya. Yeah. Also Supriyadi. Of course. Uh, rising star now in Indonesia. Jadi, kita senang banget kita dapat eksklusif wawancara dengan mereka berdua. Dan kita akan keliling. Men, paling di nojo bread gitu loh. Sama ini nih, namanya penterjemahnya. Sama ini. Iya, man. Donatur utama. <laughs> Stadion dari Tranmere Rovers, di mana di sini ada kapasitasnya 16 sampai 17 ribu supporter yang bisa memenuhi di sini dan tadi diceritakan kalau tahun lalu pada saat bukan tahun lalu kemarin nih pada saat mereka mau naik promosi di babak semifinal mereka main di sini juga begitu heboh banget suasananya dan waktu kemarin juga pertandingan disaksikan sama adik-adik kita dari Surabaya mereka katanya di kursi merah itu loncat-loncatan girang-girangan juga pas. Mereka akhirnya bisa cetak gol dan juga lolos. Dan 
Kita sekarang udah ada di sini juga dan kita lihat dong sini ya. Tempat ini keren banget, ada sekitar 17.000 penonton dan kalau lagi full ini luar biasa banget. Apa yang terjadi kita lihat untuk tim yang seperti ini saja sudah begitu mampu untuk bisa mengorganisasi, untuk bisa membuat suatu hal yang baik, untuk bisa membuat sebuah pengelolaan, untuk bisa membuat sesuatu yang memang luar biasa sehingga kalau kita lihat pengelolaan di Liga Inggris ini memang sungguh-sungguh luar biasa dan kita akan sebagai jebret media akan terus mengangkat sepak bola sepak bola yang ada di Liga Inggris bersama dengan kalian semua yang terus menyaksikan dan juga terus setia untuk bisa melihat bagaimana sejarah, bagaimana fasilitas, bagaimana pengelolaan di sepak bola klub-klub di Liga Inggris. Alright, gua ada di Tranmere Rovers dan mereka berdua lagi kebingungan gua ngomong apa. Gua balik lagi ke mereka ya supaya mereka ngerti gua ngomong apa. So, can I can I ask about what you said before? Uh, the uh, the result of Supriyadi when you track on the GPS about his ability. Yeah, sure. So um, we we knew a little about Supriyadi's story yes. when, when he came over because we like to do our research on each individual player. Mm -hmm. um, at Tranmere, we have individual learning objectives, so we treat every player needs something different from the next player. So it was good to have the information on Supriyadi before he came, and we knew his story. Mm -hmm. But what showed for me uh, that that really set him apart from everybody else was the. Sometimes when you have a player who has um, who has like a story or who has like the media like attention around yes. them like f fame if you like, um, sometimes they can let that uh, mess with their thoughts. Yeah. But no time ever did you think that about Supriyadi. Mm -hmm. He is the most humble, uh, polite, um, respectful player mm -hmm. that that we that we've received here. Mm -hmm. uh, he worked the hardest out of every player. Uh, we know that because we can see how hard he works. Mm -hmm. We can we can we can sense it like that. But also at Tranmere, we're quite lucky that we have the the GPS uh, data, the trackers. Mm -hmm. So we knew that he was working harder than everybody. Um, but when he actually trained with our under 18s team, the GPS told us mm -hmm. that he works harder. He ran further than anybody. He ran faster than anybody, and he worked harder than anybody. And that was really great to see. Tuh, katanya kan kalau orang biasanya udah banyak perhatian publik, dia jadinya star sindrom ya. <laughs> Tapi Supriyadi tetap menunjukin dia itu rendah hati, pas dicoba juga dipakai GPS, ternyata kemampuan larinya segala macam menunjukkan dia mau udah kerja keras. But one of the problem, analyst said that Indonesian people, they not, not tall enough. It's oh, like yeah. Yaman. Hey, yeah, like me. <laughs> yeah, the players is like Yaman, it's a lot and have a Sorry. speedy... It's not standing, it's just oh, fading. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Is that? Uh, is that? Uh, is there any problem about that problem? No, we we don't see that as a problem here. Mm -hmm. Maybe like 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. the people would make a decision based on somebody's physique. Yes. But if you look at the top top players in the Premier League, Eden Hazard. Yes. If you look at Mane, Salah. Like they're, they're not big. Aguero, uh, mm -hmm. Raheem Sterling. Sterling. They're not big, tall, old-fashioned players. They're they they're quick and agile. Um, so when we talk about an individual learning objective, we have to consider their physical attributes. If if they are a big player, um, then fine, uh, we can work with that. If they are not, then we we can give them other things that they can work on. If they if they are a quick player, let's make them the quickest so that they oh, stand out from the rest of the team. But physically, they mm -hmm. held their own oh, more than held their own in the matches that they played, and there were some good challenges, good tackles yeah. going in. Mm -hmm. They played really, really well against in the Wrexham game, which they won, and like they, they didn't. There was no difference between the two. So. On the physique wise, the best player in the world is Messi, and he's <laughs> yeah, 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 he's yeah, yeah, yeah. glides across the glass, the grass. So yeah, he, no, they're absolutely fine. So, Messi, right? Not Ronaldo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jadi, fisik nggak masalah. Justru taktik strategi yang menyesuaikan bagaimana seorang tinggi oh. yang kuat dijadikan yang paling kuat, yang pendek tapi cepat dijadikan yang paling cepat. Pemain-pemain kayak Hazard, Sterling, Aguero, Salah, Mane itu nggak tinggi-tinggi amat juga nah, jadi ternyata tergantung strateginya no, ya yeah. no your accents uh, in the early age we need to develop them not the physically how to play in the match yeah. but how to develop yeah. their their uh, development of their strategy yeah. the yeah, decision making the, and then uh, uh, the techniques and everything not directly yeah. to how to play as you said to me earlier of right of course um, we don't we we don't judge on their current ability we judge on uh, what we see their potential being okay. so you could have a player who's uh, 
very physically developed, scores lots of goals, but you think maybe when they're older, the rest catch up to them. Yes. So we look um, to the technical players, the players that are comfortable in possession of the ball, and more, most importantly for me, have the right attitude to want to learn and want to improve all the time. Um, and that's what really impressed me with the group that we had over from Surabaya, Surabaya. City. Uh, their attitude was absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. and it made our job as coaches really easy to, to put the session on and they want to develop themselves. So what, what do you think about their future as a footballer? So the group? The, the, as a group they were easily uh, as good as the, the local teams that they played against here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm always cautious with young players to, to say amazing things about them because I understand how difficult it is to make it as a professional player. Yes. Uh, but I can only comment on the here and now and I think that a lot of them had some good potential. Um, we didn't make uh, just general comments on the, on the group because we worked on the individual, individual. Uh, di differences and positives and, and negatives of their game we were able to put together uh, like a portfolio of evidence of what they can improve on moving forward and that was really important for them to yeah. take home so can 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 one of them or two of them or three of them uh, sometimes in the future play as uh, Tranmere players again <laughs> uh, again <laughs> again I, I don't like to comment on on players so young yeah. uh, but all I would say is it would not surprise me okay. so it wouldn't come as a surprise if if some of the group did go on to make professional players just the weather they need to get used to the weather <laughs> yes. 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 also one of sure. the problem that was the really weather the and yeah. also when when they live alone that's the most yeah. uh, reasons that sometimes our players that already getting trial yeah in the England or mm. uh, sometimes in the uh, Netherlands, mm -hmm. yeah. the reason why they cannot uh, compete is the weather and also they, they live alone and the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you. Yeah. <laughs> kebab. Yeah. Yeah, kebab. <laughs> Oke, okay. itu dia yang udah kita tanya bagaimana dari sisi pelatih yang kemarin Supriyadi dan teman-teman dari Surabaya datang, ternyata dibilang mereka attitude-nya bagus banget dan membuat mereka mudah untuk melatihnya dan tetap rendah hati ya teman-teman udah dibilang kayak begini mudah-mudahan kalian semua seperti yang dikatakan tadi oleh para pelatih bisa saja kalian nanti akan menjadi pemain profesional bukan hanya di dalam negeri tapi juga di luar negeri tergantung lu, tergantung perilaku lu dan ini bisa ngatasin cuaca, bisa ngatasin problem makanan dan hidup sendirian kalau lu memang merantau ke luar negeri ya kan? <laughs> dan Ntar kita nggak tahu mau diajak kemana lagi, tapi yang jelas kita udah wawancara dengan para pelatihnya. Nanti kita lanjut lagi, oke? Okay? started to to build the the program is it from the league or maybe, or just no, from the club um, it's um it was from Tramway from the club uh -huh. so initially we had uh, someone who grew up on the Wirral go across to China came back with a proposition for us just to send English teachers across so it started off something completely different to what it is now um, and then the chairman went across and uh, met with the in Mongolian government. They were interested in uh, developing football players and coaches because they're the pilot province for football development in China. Um, and we've delivered projects for them 
uh, which is player development and coach education as well as educational resources. And then we leveraged off that um, and met with Mayor Risma from the Surabaya government. She was very interested in what we've done with China. So then she thought, well, I'll send young players across to um, get a bit of the English football culture, but then also be trained within a professional football club, which you don't have access to anywhere else in the world. It's only Tramway that have to access. So these kids were playing on the pitch alongside the first team, alongside our academy players. They were using Dan, who's a professional academy coach, and he's an ex-professional player as well. It's Liverpool and... <laughs> yes, <laughs> Liverpool! <laughs> crew and everything like that. So they've had a real great so, experience and access to the So you know Major Risma? Hey? You, you, you knew Major Risma? Yeah, well we, yeah. we met her, um, I think it was a year and a half ago when she came across before uh -huh. she signed a memorandum of understanding with the yes. Liverpool City region. Uh -huh. So um, she came, uh, we did a presentation. We focused a bit on futsal because futsal is integral to what we do in the academy for developing players, uh -huh. especially with young, younger children. Um, and we know that futsal is really popular in, in Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah, so uh, we thought it'd be a, quite a nice synergy. Um, yeah. So we use that as well. Because it's also a big news in our country when yeah, yeah, Supriyadi we went, to, yeah. went to uh, Tranmere. Mm. And also because Major Isma also popular in, in Indonesia, so yeah. I think it's a good thing. So uh, if so, it's not just like uh, the Surabaya boys that can get into the program. So yeah. I mean, if there is other group that yeah. want also to... Uh, to be the part of the program is yeah. also open in every year? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're, op we're open um, all year round. So obviously it depends on the demand because we, we've opened out to America, um, Australia, other markets in China um, and now Indonesia. Um, but we can put on these programs, it's not a problem. We tailor it to each group's needs. So if they want a bit more of the cultural and the tourism side, we can arrange that. You can go to Scotland, down to London, go to Wales, visit the lakes. Um, but if you want to focus primarily on the football development of each individual player, then we can do a really high intensity program. We'd like them to be across longer because then you can affect change better than uh -huh. if it's just a two week intense program. Oh, but but th that's the two weeks is from yeah. them or from the program in Tranmere? Uh, we, I think we sent proposals across, they oh, came so back saying they depends. want two weeks. Yeah, it depends. We, we can do, because uh, we're quite flexible, because oh. we have the facilities and the resources and everything here. So if you want to do one week, longer. we can do one week. Longer, we, okay. longer we think is better, because then you, you get into the rhythm of it a bit. We found with the Surabayan players that two week, they wanted to stay a bit longer than two weeks, because they were getting into the swing of things, um, as we saw with the matches as well. Yeah. Yeah. Jadi, like to translate yeah, it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jadi ternyata programnya itu memang ada hubungan loh itu mereka buka kerjasama dengan Cina, terus kemudian ketemu sama Ibu Risma, bikin program ini dan dua minggu gitu loh. Dan ternyata program ini terbuka terus. Jadi pokoknya ini ternyata program yang sangat bagus. Lo semua juga nanti siapapun grupnya bisa bakal ikutan program ini. First of all, we would like to introduce yes. you to yeah. the chairman here, Mr. Uh, Palias. Hi, good to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you. Okay, uh, Mr. Palias, uh, let me introduce Mr. Uh, Simon. Nice to meet you. Simon. And then this is uh, the sportcaster uh, Valentino of Indonesia. Yeah, and this is uh, the member from the team. Hello. Hi. Hi, David. Yeah. Thank you very much for your welcoming here. We're very, uh, yeah, we're really happy that you welcome us coming to your time here again. No, it's good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got everything you want or have you got all the... Yeah. yeah. Oke okay, kali ini gue diberi kesempatan buat mengangkat piala yang mereka dapatkan waktu mereka naik lagi ke level dimana sekarang mereka bermain Jampion, Jampion
bisa lihat ya pengelolaan klub di sini udah luar biasa walaupun ini kan League 2 tapi store-nya tuh udah ya kayak profesional ya bukan memang profesional tapi kayak di negara kita juga yang di top league belum tentu punya begini.